If you rock with the RPC, if you like the content I put, you know what I mean, before, before you continue, pause this video real quick and type in the words peace, peace in the comment section, man. Let me know that you rock with me, that you riding with me, man. Appreciate that. If she's not using the same terms and looking at the same shit you look at, you ain't really got her. Right. I agree. Like, because I post a lot of shit. So if a female's talking to me, she's going to start looking at Norway and Italy and Switzerland yeah. and stuff like that because the vision is going to take take control. You know what I'm saying? The vi your vision becomes her vision. And, and that's that's how it should be. Your light is what, for, you know, you're the movie and she's the projector. She's going to play that movie and showcase it. So that's that's how it should be man if you ain't if she's not mimicking anything you're doing if her language is not sounding like yours if her hobbies are not becoming yours her interests are not you don't have her that means somebody else's interests are what's in her mind because somebody's always there it is no just her shit that ain't how it works like we said earlier she needs to be filled man so mm -hmm. whether it's something good or bad she's always gonna have something that's gonna fill her up man and that's what they're looking for man to be filled man facts Hurry right up so yo, we I know we could keep going. It's been two and a half hours, but yo, my, yo, free for it's been two and a half hours, man, just like that. <laughs> Worried up. So um, anybody got any questions in the chat? We're going for like another five, ten minutes max. You know what I mean? And then uh, you know we might, you know, we just do another one. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, anytime, bro. Exactly, exactly. I got your number, man. We got each other's math, so it's ain't nothing, man. This is this is just uh, the first of many. And we do now. We haven't chat in a while. We've been all busy and shit. But right. me and RPC would talk like this on the phone too. So exactly. Well, a lot of times you guys can just be hearing a regular conversation. To be honest with you, it ain't even like it's a drop. It's a lot when it when it drops. When you're talking to two real people, man, or listening, it really just be a conversation. Hey, that's what I said in the beginning, right? It's gonna be just me and Freeport just chopping it up. It's not yeah. like you like, hey man, so tell me three years ago what you do and tell you about nah man. <laughs> just talking, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we that. and, and that's where you see, I, I was thinking about calling this series um fly on the wall. You know what I mean? Because it's really just dudes just a fly on the wall, just listening to conversation that we have off camera, off YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So right. and dudes need to be able to see uh, all right, let's tap on that real quick. When it comes to being a man or learning to be a man from another man. It's not always about the man verbally saying X, Y, Z. Sometimes you got to ear hustle. I mean, sometimes you just got to watch. I mean, so when it comes to the fly on the wall series, a lot of those got to learn how to how to just use their ears twice as much as they speak and then pick up the gems. I mean, and walk away with that. Because whether whether I don't care how you feel about me, I don't care how you feel about Mr. Freeport. It's all about taking in the message and not caring about the messenger. You heard? So right. we on here just chopping it up. You know what I mean? And because and, and, these are things that we already know. I mean, it, it, I'm just hoping that within this conversation that, that the people watching this can pick up the gems and, and better themselves. You know what I mean? And take themselves to the next level and take the take the the the, the, the rose colored glasses and turn them into red pill lenses. You know what I mean? And see through all of this. You know what I mean, that's facts, man. And like I said, you said earlier, a lot of motherfuckers who be commenting on these on these pages and shit, you couldn't even sit in the same circle or at the dinner table, man. So you guys got to really appreciate it, like. I think I, I think about this a lot, man. I be thinking about closing my page down. I said, man, these motherfuckers don't appreciate the shit they have because I look at my experiences, bro. If I would have had an RPC around, or a Steph is cold around, an Afi right. Keen around, a professor yeah. at 15 years old, bro, yeah. like you niggas do, bro. man, I'd be fucking in Norway. I'd be pissed, bro. I'd be in Norway right now. And <laughs> niggas don't realize that I'd be dead ass serious. Like these niggas don't get it, bro. If we, you know how much shit a lot of us older men could have avoided if we had niggas like us, but we didn't have internet growing up. So we come from a right. different time when we had to holler at a bitch, we had to pull out that notebook and, mm -hmm. and then scroll through with the little letters on it, the Rolodex, and hit her up and you know what I'm saying? And hey, can I uh can I talk to her? How you doing, miss? Can I talk to your daughter? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and you gotta chat with her. You right. niggas go straight to the daughter. You ain't even gotta talk to the mom. Thank See, that's you, a drop nigga. right there. Yeah, my that's nigga. That's a drop. Yeah, my nigga. <laughs> they not. They don't know how to even deal to, deal with adults and deal with men because mm. we had to get through the the father. If we call the father the daughter house at five p.m. after school, you know what I mean? We had to get through the daughter, the father yep. to get to the daughter. You yep. niggas just go straight past that, man. Y'all don't realize how good y'all got it. You they young have niggas. No idea. They have no. But it, you know, but it's pros and cons. You know what I mean? Because 
like you just mentioned, I've learned how to talk to adults. That's why a lot of the, a lot of the, the majority, I want to say, I, I, fuck it, I'm going to say all of the females that I've dealt with who introduced me to their parents, especially most specifically their moms, their moms love me. Don't be surprised some of their moms wanted to fuck me too, man. <laughs> and it's because that's something that I learned from, from a young age, man. I had to talk to daddy. I had to talk to their daddy before I could talk to them. I had to talk to their moms before I could talk to them, man. Mm -hmm. And hey, yo, Dave W with another 499. Yo, appreciate you, Dave, man. You be showing mad love for the whole for the whole episode, man. He said, real quick, can you guys explain your boys, girl, picking up some of your mannerism? What does that mean? Well, for me, one of the things I noticed, well, well uh, Freeport already mentioned, like some of your ideologies. We can go as deep as some of your ideologies, whether it be your religion uh, uh, or your spiritual beliefs. It could be um, something as simple as the music that you listen to. But it could be as something as simple as, as as what I've seen myself and experienced myself is, listen, I got no problem dancing. I like to dance. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's just music that I like, I like to dance. You know what I'm saying? And I get, side note, I get that from my father. Okay, my father is the fucking center of attention when he's at the party. You know what I mean? As far as for his dancing and all that and his charisma. So I say that to say, when I'm in a foreign land or whatever and I got my music playing, my music, it's my music, but it's in their language. That's a drop. It's my yep. music, but in their language. <laughs> you know <what> I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm vibing to their joints, you know what I'm saying? Better than them. So as far as like, you know, mannerisms, I've lit, yo, Dave, I've literally had chicks mimicking my dance moves. So if I'm doing the, the, the one, two step, they're trying to follow my one, two step. If I'm doing the cha-cha, whatever, they trying to do the cha-cha in front of me. When I got them like that, it's kind of like, I know I got to mesmerize. I know I'm in your mind now. Cause you, you, I'm your mirror. You're doing whatever I'm doing now. Like, like I be telling niggas, you know, a bitch don't know what she like until you tell her. Bingo. But niggas don't, niggas don't understand that part right there. Niggas be asking, where you like to eat? And where you, hey, yo, shout out to Afi, man. One of the things he told me that I love that he that he said, man, you guys should, should use this. <clears throat> ask where she likes to eat. Of course, when you ask that, she's going to think that you're going to take her there. But no, 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 no. You ask a bitch where she like to eat. Let's, let, let's just say she says Ruth Chris. Your next response should be, when are you taking me there? Mm. Do you understand the difference in energy right there? That falls into a series I should do called um, Think Like a Man, Act Like a Woman. Uh-oh. You understand? Dudes ain't saying that. They're like, oh, I'm an alpha. I'm never going to ask a woman to take me out. I, 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 she's never paying for me. I'm alpha. <laughs> no, sir. It's, <laughs> it's okay for a woman, you know what I'm saying, to uh, you know, take you out and, uh, you know, Stick around and have a good uh, and, and pay, pay pay your way for that night, whatever the case may be, man. You gotta have chicks invest in you, but we uh -oh. too long, man. Like I said, we yeah, can, that's a job. That's a whole job right there. We, too. We, 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 can, we can we can just keep going and going, man. I hope the people have been picking up the gems we've been dropping for the past two hours and forty two minutes, man. We'll talk. You know what I'm saying like this is this is this is gems we dropping for you, man. And for the people in the live chat, uh uh uh, uh I thank you. You know what I mean? And uh, I, and I hope you appreciate appreciate the episode because. Yeah, this gotta go on Patreon, man. Yeah, these, these dudes gotta gotta pay for this, man. My dude Dave, again, I appreciate you with the with the super chat. I appreciate Bobby Ray, the Rev, now now Alexander. And I let mean, me say another thing that you mentioned, yeah. it, bro. It, it really like because I be saying the same shit sometimes. Like this gotta go on Patreon, but maybe sometimes I be thinking to myself, like I really be thinking niggas don't see value, bro. Because even this conversation here. Is too much for a Patreon because a Patreon monthly membership, you got people paying on uh, people ten thousand to go sit into a seminar mm -hmm. for two hours to learn, and they don't walk away. They walk away feeling good, but they don't actually learn the shit. So they might feel like they got hustled. You know, you, this whole thing with Jay Morrison is going around about how he scammed people, but people were paying thousands for his shit and not actually getting a benefit. This shit we dropping to you niggas, you can go to Harvard. And go to the, the fucking Harvard teacher, and he won't teach you this shit. You I hope you niggas understand this shit, bro. They you, call them people philosophers. We are modern day philosophers out here, yo, man. Yo, yo, me, me, Afi came up with it. Yo, yo, uh, uh, Freeport, this is what it is, fam. This is what it is. Moving forward, we are mindset coaches. We're not dating coaches. We're not. We're not even life coaches because I don't. I don't know you, nigga. I don't. I'm not you, Freeport. But it's in general. I don't know what, who's listening to this. I don't know your life, but I know right. if I your mindset. That's like taking you to the water. Once I take you to the world, once I teach you how to fish, you know what I mean? You don't got to come back to me. One thing I noticed, and I'm going to keep it 100 with everybody listening to this, man. Shout out to Roaster Mentals, man. Shout out, definitely shout out to Roaster Mentals. He says, salute, checking in. Yo, real talk, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100 with, with people, man. Like, I do consultations, right? And what I realized with my consultation, and it's the same way that I felt before, uh, uh, when I was making my, my stride toward becoming a, a physician and a surgeon, 
the people who are who are consult people who come to me for consultations they come to me for consultations and i say about after like three four times they don't come for consultations anymore now most of you might think oh oh damn rpc gets got bad advice because they not keep coming back and they said a third no that's not what happens what happens is they hit the epiphany when they hit that epiphany what they need to call me for they know how to fish now right yeah if they do hit me back and i posted it before it's yo rpc y'all yo, yo, i just want to say your advice you gave me the consultation you gave me like the way yo yo you made me see blah 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 now i see things this way and i'm able to move forward like this and control my emotions like that and da 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 so i just want to say man thank you change that's what i want i don't want right. to hit me 10 15 20 30 times for a consultation fam you, you want to heal niggas, cure them, not I'm just give them a medication to keep pimping them. I'm not, I'm not about putting band-aids. I want to cure you where you are healthy and you don't need me no more. I'd rather that. But guess what happens, though? Like we talk about access and all that. You think that same dude that only needed three, four consultations with me, you think that dude ain't giving me a place to rest if I come into his town? You think that dude ain't giving me access to what he has access to when I come to wherever he's at? You know what I mean? Like, come you on, taught man. him more than his own father did. Come on, man. Come on, man. His father wasn't even there. Let's, let's keep it 100. Facts. So I think guys got to really see because we say going on Patreon and we, we, we be undervalue, undervaluing just ourselves by even having that mindset of putting on Patreon. Really, some of these drops like should just be for sale for a hundred dollar minimum type shit. To be honest with you, it's not it's, it's not because the, you need the money you want to got it now, but it's motherfuckers don't know you niggas. Let's be very uh, direct. Niggas don't appreciate shit they don't spend for. That's a fact. And if they ain't coming out of pocket for it, they're not going to see the suit value, unfortunately. That's just how it is, man. Hey, yo, hey, when you say that, can I, I have to say this also. Again, keep it 100, man. You got anybody who consulted who had consultation with me. My nigga Freeport, I don't do it for the bread, man. Okay? What I do it is for what you just said. Like, my nigga, you, you want my time? I right, nigga, pay for my time, nigga. All right, he, he pay, he, he'll pay the first time. That's what's up. I drop knowledge on him. He'll pay the second time. I'm like, all right. The way the, the way the conversation goes, oh, this dude is serious because from the second conversation, he's bringing up some things that I said in the first conversation. So I tell him, you were listening. So guess what, Freeport? On that third conversation, you my nigga, don't even worry about the PayPal, my nigga. What up? Just hit me at this Bingo. Time. We'll chop it up. Bingo. End up having your phone number and just chopping up with you for good. I'm not doing this for the bread family. I'm really trying to change boys to men, grown males to men. I only, I only charge you the first two, three times to see if you're serious. Right. And the conversations and, and the PayPal payments and I, yo Freeport, I, yo these 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 uh, these PayPal payments that I got from these consultations, or uh, God strike me right now, I haven't even touched that shit, fam. It's only when I go to PayPal, I be like, I see like, oh, I got X amount of dollars waiting for me. I'm not right. touching, I'm not doing it for that. You know what I mean? I'm here to help the people out, man, because I know once that individual sees himself for who he is and what he needs to be, that helps me out too because that that creates a better society, man. You know what I mean? That creates a better next generation. Yeah, man, and, yeah. and what we said before is adding to the network. There are some man. I've talked to some guys in the MGTOW community. There was this older guy who was about seventy years old. This man was a head guy for NASA. And when you're you just having the ability to connect with people like that, it's building your network. So if you're one of the guys that do it, a lot of guys are like that. They do it for the money. They don't see the value. You know, they don't. They really don't see the value. And I, I see it, it thinks of a, a meme I've seen females post that uh, some chicks, it was just strippers supposed to say, you missing out on a dope ass, you can be making money with the dope ass chick, but you missing out because you busy worrying about the sex. And that's some real shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I can relate to a female saying that. Like, I really do feel her when she says that, because a lot of you niggas do it on this stuff. Like, you can be building great connections with people, but you so busy trying to get money out of them that they just like, you know what, fuck it. Like, the only interaction we have is a pay for pay type situation. Okay. Then why am I going to give you my, this, this motherfucker could be a physician. This motherfucker could be an investment banker. He can be telling you inside information. Hey, yo, this stock is going to hit, but you so busy trying to pimp the nigga. You don't even know what he does. See what I'm saying? Ooh. Access, access. <laughs> Come on, man. We going on three hours for real here. All right, so we all right. All right we're gonna go ten more minutes. I'm a, I'm a lot for <laughs> three hours to be honest. Damn! Wow! Wow! That's that's amazing. So um yeah, last ten minutes, man. So in the last ten minutes, one thing I want I want I want to talk about in this episode before we get off is the fact that um dudes have to realize, man, when you are dealing with females, dudes be like, oh well, you know, she's a doctor. 
she's a lawyer, you know, she's a she's a judge, you know, she works, she's an administrator at this hospital and blah blah blah, 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 blah whatever whatever fucking status you want to talk about, my nigga. But dudes need to realize is whatever female you're talking to, she's just a little girl. Yep. Okay. And you and I, when I say she's a little girl, I'm not saying you got you got to talk down to her in a demeaning fashion, but you have to recognize that she's a little girl. Like I said in one of my chats, I said um, again back to me going up going out the country real quick. Shorty was saying something. Ah, 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 that's another drop. I got to talk about what I did to Shorty, man. I, you know, I made Shorty cry, man. But I, I I purposely did that because I wanted to take her on the roller coaster. But when we got on the other side of the crying, bro, I was a god, man. Oh my god. But anyway. All right, let me rewind. What, what was I talking about? All right, she's a little girl. She was saying something, and my response to her was like, yo, da 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 you don't even know what you're saying, man. You're just a little girl, man. She was like, I, I'm not a little girl. I said, you my little girl. <laughs> yo, when I said it to her like that, yo, I swear, if she was ice, she melted right then and there. She yeah. had to look like, because she was, she was, you know, aggressive and defiant, like, I'm not a little girl. And when I said, no, you, <laughs> you my little girl. I ain't, I ain't break, break, break. Uh, I ain't break stare or nothing like that. Like you, you, my little girl. And also, I'm like, yo, it's your move now. Her response was, yeah, yeah. So when he talked, should have told her dad to make her say daddy too. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go further, uh, Freeport. I'm gonna go a step further. What, what, what? Afi taught me. I'm not even gonna say daddy. I'm gonna say dad, because daddy is synonymous with sugar daddy. Give me that uh -oh. take, 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 take. But if I'm dad. I'm authority. Woo! Yo, that's another thing, Freeport. You, you reminded me. Because the bitch was giving me a little static at one point in time. You know what I told that bitch? I said, listen, I told her in Spanish in her own language. This bitch, this bitch is speaking English to me, and I'm speaking Spanish to her. She's speaking <laughs> to her, all right? That's a drop. So I'm telling her in her language. Now, I remember I had it on my arm like this, like, yo. And she was acting like that. And I was like, yo, look, escuche, listen. It can't be two bosses. And I stared dead in her eyes, man. They can't be two bosses. That, that, that allows her to make a decision. If you know they can't be two bosses, and you can tell from my energy that I'm giving that boss energy, that she needs to decide. I either need to step out the situation or fucking submit. Because like right. you said, you can't be two bosses. You, 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 you think she tried to be a boss around me? Guess what? She turned into a fucking little girl. Come on, man. That's facts. Even the scriptures say you can't serve two masters. And the scriptures say the woman is supposed to look as treat you as she did treat Jesus, calling her husband her Lord. If a woman has any issue with calling you or looking at you as her Lord, just pass on, man. Just move on. Right. Just move on. To you, then, then, you know what I'm saying? Then cut it off, man. Or, or, or keep her at a distance. You know what I mean? Something so, Go ahead. What are you about to say? So I, I made a post about the uh, Mexican cartel chick or Venezuelan cartel oh, chick who went and killed five dudes. Remember yeah, that? I've seen, seen that. And I was like, that's a Trinity chase. Some dudes say, oh, man, you were simp. You're nah. going after a woman who, like, bro, these niggas don't get. A bitch that'll kill five people on your word? What type of imprint do you have on her mind? Yo, 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 Freeport, I'll keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? You know, they say the first the first rule in therapy, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no lying, right? Mm -hmm. My nigga, Freeport, when I seen that shit, I was low-key turned on, my nigga. I was too. That's all. <laughs> Not because like five people died, but also like, yo, that bitch is a soldier like that. Yeah, yeah I need one of those. Like, like, exactly. like, like, like Gaddafi. Like exactly. Yeah. Come on, come on, Freeport. What I what I mean when I say Gaddafi, what I mean by that? You talking about that drop I did? The um, the um, what was it called? The definition of masculinity or something like that. It got taken down, but there was a drop I did it's in the segment. Real. He had female soldiers yes. who were trained. Yes. From the beginning, they were versions. Well, there's a lot. Of, I gotta go back and do that one. I can put. Uh, I don't I'll, I'll upload that one, man. Bro. But they were they were born. They were virgins, and they knew from the beginning. Five, six years old, they wanted to be Gaddafi's soldier. So these women, their whole life, they were imprinted as a little kid to be his soldier. They they would give their life for his philosophies, whatever it be, right or wrong. And they just Gaddafi. Hitler had them too. But that's power. Think about a woman willing to give her life for your philosophy, for your mentality, for your beliefs. And a nigga can say that simp shit. 
Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, Freeport. That's the same dude who has no idea what the pop what, has e has no idea what even the Pablo spirit even means, my nigga. Come on, nah. Man. So we nah. can't even address them. They like we said earlier, they can't even come to our table, man. We got nah. to our table. So with that being said, man, we about to you know put the put the drinks down, put the cup down. You know what I'm saying? Pull the seats out, and you know we're gonna have to you know uh uh, uh, uh continue this on another episode, man. Like straight fire the whole time, man. No dull moments, man. I, I appreciate your time. I appreciate all the gems that you dropped me for Freeport, aka Perfected Midtown. Any any closing words for the people? Yeah, man. This uh, thanks for having me on. As always, we got to do this often. Like I said, man. Me and RPC go. If it wasn't for RPC, I would probably I don't think I would have had a YouTube, man. He was the first one maybe do a YouTube channel because I was primarily on Instagram, so a lot of you guys don't know that. But I didn't have an Instagram, a YouTube, and he put me on him and Afi, so they were the first ones to sort of put me on. So salute to both of those brothers. But also, um, if you want to check out the page, I got Professor MGTOW is the page. Um, I got Mr. Freeport, which is my music page. I just posted that up last week. So you can check out, subscribe to both, because there'll be certain drops that I'll only do on the Mr. Freeport page. Uh, so make sure you follow on that page as well, and you can check out the music and all that shit, too. But, uh, man, like I said, man, you guys appreciate the time this brother puts in, man, because he really has a lot of experiences. Like I said before, we came on. I am changing my career path because of direct conversations with RPC. And I'm a Virgo nigga. I don't change shit because of what other people say. <laughs> so understand the power of that when I tell you guys that. Hey, yo, Freeport, just know my right hand man, you know what I'm saying? My, 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 my brother from another mother, he's also a Virgo, man. So me, me and Virgos, we, we, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we mix, we, we meld well together, man. Right, right. <laughs>